Um, you know, they got a little more. They got a little wilder. You know, if you didn't think that me being with Michael Jackson and having him slap the hell out of me, and then me finding out that he was an alien, <laughs> if you you didn't wow. think that was enough, they take it even further. Wow. They take it even further, and you know, I credit him and his writing partner and his mm-hmm. co-producer and and Carl Jones for even. Black Dynamite in itself was way out there, and they turned the knob up on it. And the only reason why I know is because when I go into for these voiceovers, you know, I see the clips mm-hmm. from the up and coming episodes, and I'm going, "All right, man, all right, you guys, whatever." And to get me to say that, man, you had to do something because I'm from come from a living color sketches. If you got me saying, uh, <clears throat> "Okay, let's see about this," you know, yeah, it's a lot of good stuff coming. Well, uh, strangely, I was in Bulgaria, and I was listening to James Brown's Superbad, and I got this idea of this movie that, you know, it started with this character, uh, like Black Dynamite, and, yeah. and ended up with him fighting Richard Nixon in a nunchuck <laughs> fight scene at the end, and it was just like, it just kind of overwhelmed me, and I... I went back home and uh, I did Tiffany, a huh, I did a photo shoot, incidentally, with the same exact wow. costume I end the movie in. I, I wow. it began and ended with mm-hmm. that that costume, but I mean then then you know then later you know fast forward, uh, Carl Jones, who I've worked with on the Boondocks, mm. uh, he gets an idea of, of making it an animated series, and here we are. You know, I don't get involved in the writing process. The thing I've had the privilege of doing is mm-hmm. coming in and enhancing the writing with my with my performances. Mm-hmm. Rather that be in the movie with contributing my acting to it, you know, and, and my improv to it, or going and doing voiceovers mm-hmm. where I contribute just my knowledge and my, 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 my improv. Right, right. You know, because the stuff is already written. The stuff is already set up. It's, and the easiest thing for me to do is to have something set up. Because mm-hmm. if it's set up, then I, I know how to fly in between all, I know how to fly in between all the limitations that are there. Right, right. Oh, yeah. See, well, <laughs> there's... The, the viewer is kind of trained uh, to, to accept um, sitcoms in a certain way. And almost every sitcom you, you watch, you'll see somewhat of a family... I don't care if it's Gilligan's Island. Right. There's, there's Gilligan, there's the, the dad character, and there's the, the community and whatever. There's, all, there's always a family there, you know what I mean? There's, so, I mean, so to do that with the black, black dynamite, black exploitation construct is, is kind of funny. It's like you have the community and you have the, the children. You, you're fusing all that stuff together. And, you know, and so we created the orphanage. You know, <laughs> but it, you know it, it's it's like you know there's cream corners like the 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 little zany brother, and there's a I'll take that yeah I'll yeah take that. right I'll take that. yeah yeah so it, it's kind of like you you will see a, a construct of every kind of family sitcom within it mm-hmm. you know you just kind of replace the characters wow yeah. With the with the with the with the film, I don't have to think about with 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 um, film. I have to be really self conscious oh. of the way I look because mm-hmm. it's a camera that's on you right, right. all the time. So everything, every aspect of what you do is going to be seen, mm. you know. So, but with with voiceovers, I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about how I look. It's about conveying, getting an idea to come out through your voice. Mm. And you could do that in any way. Like if I was hanging on the edge of a cliff mm-hmm. in a movie. And the direction is you're hanging on the edge of the cliff and you're about to fall and you really don't want to. I would do that scene like, <coughs> ah, oh my God, right? right? But if I was in voiceover, uh-huh. how, do I, how do I make you yeah. see that? Uh-huh. <laughs> see, what comes into the mic is a lot different than what came into the mic on the other one because that element of being seen is there. That's it. it. Yeah. You're, you're I went fast, fast huh? Right? Yeah. Did I go? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where was I? Right, 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 right. Right, right. 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 where'd you go? Right, right. Yeah. She asked. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
Absolutely, absolutely. There's uh, sometimes, uh, depending on budget, you may see a screenshot of a whole bunch of stuff going on, but it's frozen. Uh, in this one, we've got a lot more of the actual action. Uh, Carl Jones had actually picked out scenes from me fighting in other movies and kind of and kind of redid the fight scenes and the I way I move that. and all that type I of stuff in, in in fight scenes for this. Cool. It's actually kind of funny. Like I, I know you know, that. yeah, I didn't know it either till like. Later on, I think he might owe me some money. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Now I need to look at what he's been doing for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I couldn't imagine anything else. But whatever is coming, I'm sure that they constructed it. You know, like like I said, I've been very lucky that every time I come into the booth, there's another dimension of this character that changed. And are you surprised when you see things that you see beforehand? Or I used to be surprised. Oh. I used to be surprised. I'm not surprised no more. You know, once once they took the... The, the, the episode that they ran first was, to me, the most out there episode that was on the whole series. And they put that first. Whoa. So to get used to the idea that this is the kind of show I'm going to be on. You know, because I'm like, either we'll get canceled, you know, don't you guys want to wait? You know, because it might get canceled with this one. And his thinking and the, his writer's thinking, his partner, and, and Carl's thinking is, you get one shot at this and we want them to know we true to it. Mm. And it worked. So from that point on, I wasn't surprised no more. It was just like, oh, these are my kind of people. Yeah, oh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, what I want out of everything I do, be entertained and love it and have fun and laugh and enjoy yourself, man. You know, a lot of hard work went into this thing right. so that you can enjoy this and have you some fun. Right. Have you some fun. Michael? Pretty much the same sentiments. I, I want them to, <laughs> when, they, w when they watch Black Dynamite, to take the ride with us. You know, I mean, there's so much stuff out there that's formulaic and everything. I know people are tired of that. I'm tired of that. So, you know, you that's tune in. Really yeah, you tune in and you're going to see something that you haven't seen anywhere else. And you can get it right here with us.